Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, so we're just going to wait a couple more minutes for some other people to get on the webinar, and then we'll begin in about a minute or so. Okay, let's get started. Welcome everybody to the first webinar of Live PC, Give PC 2019. My name is Lisa Galfrin. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at Mighty Cause. I handle anything CS related. And so for today's webinar, we'll be going over some basic technical refreshers about your profile page, as well as some quick campaign strategies. In regards to the campaign strategies, we'll be having more webinars that will be catered and we'll go into more detail in regards to that. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Mighty Cause, uh, we have been around since 2006. We're one of the first Giving Day platforms and when we're one of the largest Giving Day platforms as well. We've helped raise over $650 million for over 30,000 nonprofits. And some of those nonprofits are right in this webinar that have been involved with Live PC, Give PC. So for those of you who are going to be getting involved with Live PC, Give PC again, or are brand new to it, you know it's an one day online giving event that helps raise awareness for Park City nonprofits and Summit County organizations. It's a great opportunity to share your mission within your community. And of course, it's hosted by the Park City Community Foundation. So let's get started by going over some of the technical aspects of the platform. But first, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you've registered your nonprofit for this year's event. It's a short form, so it should be quick and easy. Similar to last year, you will need to be approved for the event again by the Community Foundation. Approval may take up to a day or two days, but you will receive an email notification that you've been approved for this year's event. And as always, you can add or remove administrators to your organization page. So if you have some new people at your nonprofit you wanna provide administrative access to, to, you can go ahead and do that in settings on your organization profile page, or you can also remove administrators there as well. And we'll go into more details about that in a second. So just to refresh some of the things or sections on your left-hand side dashboard, this is where you're gonna manage your organization, review donations, et cetera. At the top, you have your home section. The home section will just provide you quick metrics as to your organization, how many donations you've received so far, and it will also provide you a great to-do list to review. So if you haven't filled out your logo or added a description, or completed your EFT, the to-do list on your homepage will notify you of that. The profile section of your dashboard will allow you to customize your nonprofit's page. Donations will provide you donor access and the ability to customize your checkout flow through the donor experience tab. Campaigns allows you to review all of the fundraising efforts that's happening for your nonprofit and any campaigns that you've created. And lastly, settings is where you can easily manage and navigate all the key settings for your organization and for your fundraising efforts. So to begin, you'll first want to review your profile page. For those returning nonprofits, it's a great opportunity to see if there are any changes that need to be made. You'll wanna make sure that all of your links are working properly, that you're sending donors to the correct place if you're providing them contact information, and as well, making sure that the story you're sharing is powerful and related to your campaign this year. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to add a logo onto your profile page as well as a background image. 
the logo area has a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and as well with the background image and logo they are mobile responsive so the size of those areas will depend on the screen that you're uh, looking at so you want to follow that aspect ratio when adding a photo into those sections the theme area of your page editor will allow you to change your brand color or your theme color and also edit the filter color of your background image the brand color that you choose or the theme color will follow you throughout also any fundraising page you create Below your donate button at the top of your organization profile page, you'll have the opportunity to add in a description about your organization and tell your story. The inline text editor will allow you to format it um, to your needs. We also have a support article that provides you some key shortcuts. So if you're looking to bold, italicize, or underline, you can simply do that from your keyboard by selecting Command or Control Shift B, U, and I. As well, in your description area, you can add in a custom tab for any other additional information. For those returning nonprofits, as I mentioned previously, this is a great opportunity to see what you've written and see what type of new story you can add to this area. How can you change what you've already shared with donors in a new and exciting way so that they can be passionate about your Live PC, Give PC 2019 campaign. As well, you'll also want to make sure at the top of your organization profile page that you've reset your metrics so that it's calculating all the donations that you've received for this year. By doing that, you can simply go to profile on your left-hand side dashboard, page setting, and then at the top, you'll see a metrics area. You can opt into showing a goal in progress bar if you didn't do so last year, as well as a donor and donations count. And the most important thing is that you wanna make sure that you're setting the goal in progress bar to count for the day that you want donations to be counted from. So for this year, you most likely want to set that date to August 16th. Towards the bottom of your organization profile page, that's where you'll see your media gallery, as well as the ability to integrate any social media you want, such as Facebook or Instagram. For those organizations that have utilized the platform before and you haven't added Instagram or Facebook gallery, this is, I would highly recommend to consider connecting your accounts to your social media. Um, it's an easy way for photos to be auto-populated on your organization page to continue fresh content, um, and you don't have to go ahead and do that manually. It will automatically update. As well, uh, within your settings on your organization profile page, we'll go into that a little bit when we get to the settings section, but you can also customize your social sharing images and descriptions. So what will show up when donors share your fundraiser on social media, on Facebook, et cetera. So if we continue down on the dashboard of your left-hand side, uh, dashboard. The next area is donations. So this is where you'll be able to review all of your donor info. Admins to your organization profile page will automatically receive an email notification when a donation has been made. So you don't have to worry about constantly logging back in and reviewing your donations report. The donor report will automatically update in real time. And of course, you can always download the information into an Excel sheet or CSV file. If you are opting to collect any more ad information such as address or phone number, you can see all of that information in the downloadable detailed um, report. Funds from your donations or funds from your campaign will be dispersed via direct deposit twice a month. So you will receive donations either on the 10th or 25th, dependent on the date of when those donations were made. And as well within the donations area of your left-hand side dashboard, 
you'll see a submenu area called disbursement and you can review disbursement information in that area. So if you wanna review a comprehensive breakdown, export that as well, you can do so. If you receive any donations offline from the platform, so a check, cash, maybe you have a donor that's a matching grant, et cetera, that's provided you a tech donation, a check donation, you can include that on your campaign by going to the offline donations area. So this is something that's a little bit different than last year. Previously, right on your donations report, there was an add offline donation area. Now we've created and designated a whole section for that on your organization profile page. So if you head over to the tab called offline donations, you can add that information. And as well, this year we've added the ability to include more detailed information, such as the donor's email address, if you want to collect that and maintain it for your own records. Please note though, that offline donations will count towards your organization pages total. So any metrics you have on your page, or if you've created a campaign, um, all of your fundraising total metrics, they will be updated. However, offline gifts do not count for leaderboard totals. They won't be included on leaderboards. So the next section underneath your disbursements area and donations report is donor experience. This is where you can customize that checkout flow, add custom donation levels and descriptions to your organization page and your donation page. You have four custom donation levels that you can edit and add descriptions to. We highly recommend uh, the adding descriptions to your donation page. It's a great way to share with donors the mission of your organization and as well share with them the impact of their donations as well. Dedication will automatically be enabled here, but if you have specific funds that you want donors to have the ability to donate to, you can add different funds there or programs within the designation tool. And towards the bottom, you'll see the ability to opt into collecting address and phone number information. On the right-hand side tab of the donor experience area, you'll see a section called post checkout. This is where you can add a thank you page and also customize your thank you message that will appear on your donation receipt. You can preview your checkout steps as well as your thank you page and receipt through the donor experience tool. As well with the thank you page and thank you message, you'll have an inline text editor. So if you have any images that you want to update within this area, or any messaging that you want to update, highly recommend to go back and review what you've added there. If you haven't added anything there to add some additional information, it's a great opportunity to send donors to maybe a specific area of your website, maybe remind them to subscribe to a newsletter that you have, etc. As I just mentioned, this area is where you'll be adding all of that information for your thank you page and thank you message. For organizations that are looking for a matching grant or have already acquired a matching grant, similar to last year, you'll have the opportunity to add a matching grant onto your fundraising page or your organization page. What's great this year is that we've actually made lots of great updates to this tool and section. Uh, for those of you who remember what our tool looked like last year, you'll see that this image <laughs> looks slightly different. Um, you'll now have the ability to add a logo and a title to your match. You can add as many matches as you want. Um, a match, for those of you who have never added a match before, will appear on the donate button notifying donors that there is a match currently available on the organization's page. Um, most importantly, this box will also lie on your page. So if any donors want to see how much you have left of your match, want to make a higher donation so that they can reach that total, they'll still be able to review that information. So aside from the logo and the title being added, 
you can actually count offline donations towards your match this year. So that's exciting news for those into organizations that have used our match last year and, and know um, that's a really great feature that we added on this year. So any offline donation that you add to your donations report, it will be included and um, added to your match. What's also a great opportunity is that we've provided the ability to create different styles of matches. So if you wanna create a match that is by number of donations or number of donors, maybe you wanna set a match that if you reach um, 20 unique donors, then that will complete your match. You'll now have the opportunity of adding a match like that. For those of you who haven't acquired a match yet, it's a great idea to start brainstorm brainstorming some new ideas and see if you can acquire a match. Um, and a match doesn't have to be high. It can be $100. It can be $1,000. It doesn't have to be something that is um, extravagant. And also, you can decide whether you want your match to be on a fundraising page or just count towards your overall organization. Great, so as we move down the left-hand side dashboard, the next section is the campaigns tool. This will give you a quick stat um, or quick glance of all the fundraising efforts that your organization is doing, any fundraising pages that you've utilized. Some organizations like to create a campaign page for their um, event. Some like to use their organization profile page. There's no wrong answer there, whatever works for you. Um, as well, if you have donors or supporters, board members that are creating peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers for your organization, you'll be able to review them here as well. You can download campaign reports here. So if you want to review the contact information of all those peer-to-peer -peer organizers, you can. And you can also easily start a new fundraiser from this section. So the last important section on your left-hand side dashboard is settings. This is where you'll be able to easily add or remove administrators. Towards the bottom of the settings area, you can set up your EFT or update your EFT, as well as update your legal address. And this will be also the area where you can customize that social share setting that I mentioned in the beginning when we spoke about social media. So what image will display, what description or title will display when donors share your fundraising page on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Or if you want to update the end of your URL, you can do so through settings as well. Great, so that was some of the technical aspects of the platform. I hope that was a great refresher for organizations that haven't used their page um, since last year. Now we're gonna go into some campaign strategies. Again, we'll be having more webinars that will go into more detail about this, but just for you guys to um, get some ideas and um, you know, um, utilize the resources that we have available to you. So one of the things that if you haven't done so already, Review the toolkit that we have available on the Live PC Give PC website. There are going to be lots of great upcoming trainings and webinars. We've also provided tools, uh, tips, facts, uh, how to's on um, just basic fundraising methodologies. As well, we have some templates for emails, social media available there, and photos for you to use in your communication so that all of your branding and all of your communications is on brand. Early donations is currently open for Live PC, Give PC. So you can start emailing donors today if you haven't already done so. Um, as we already went through, donate, you can see all of your donor information through the donations report on your left-hand side dashboard. They'll be processed immediately. You should receive an email notification and they will reflect on the leaderboard on the day of the event. So you don't have to worry about that. It will show up on the leaderboard. And most importantly, just a reminder for organizations, donors do not need to create a user account to donate. We try to make it as seamless and as easy as possible for donors. They will be asked to enter their email address through the checkout flow but that simply just allows us to then send the donation receipt to their email. 
And you'll want to start thinking about how you can engage supporters in your area. We have awesome peer-to-peer -peer fundraising tools that are available to you if you want to create a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaign. Maybe your board members want to come together and have their own peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaign. And utilize them to help in whatever avenue you want. Maybe you have a supporter in your area that's really great with social media and they can help utilize uh, the photos that we provide in our toolkit to come up with a great email campaign. With your team, come up with how people can engage your 2019 campaign and allow them to tell their story about your organization. Um, how, what does it mean to them? How can they personalize it and share why it's an important organization for them and why people should support it? As well with peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaigns, if that's something that you are considering for to do for the event, it's a great way to access new donors that you wouldn't have been able to access previously. And lastly, spread the word. So share, obviously, your campaign through your social media, add it to your newsletters, as well as within your email marketing. Segment your communications by donor group. You want to make sure that your messaging for your recurring donors is different than the donors that donated last year. And you'll definitely want to make sure to review the donations report that of all the donors that donated this year and let them know that you're still participating in Live PC, Give PC, and it's a great opportunity for them to make a donation this year and how it will impact your organization. Obviously, you want to plan and schedule in advance. Since all of you are on this webinar now, you're well prepared. Um, and have a clear call to action when you do reach out to donors. How can they help you? What can they do? And provide them direct links to your donation page. So I'm going to open it up now to questions. There is a left hand side or right hand side go to webinar control panel where you can ask any questions you have. Of course, this webinar will be added to the Live PC Give PC toolkit. So you can access this anytime you want afterwards. Um, and we'll also have the slide deck available as well. So just as a reminder, um, just a question about resetting your metrics if you haven't done so. Um, when you reset your metrics, you'll want to reset it to August 16th, 2019 or a date relatively close to that so that you're not including donations from last year on your metrics on your organization profile page. Or if you're reusing a fundraising page, same thing, you'll still want to reset your metrics from last year. Um, do I need to reuse the same fundraising page that I created last year? Uh, you don't have to reuse the same fundraising page. You can reuse, you can create a new fundraising page. I would actually highly recommend it. If you created a specific fundraising page, Live PC, Give PC 2018 from your organization profile page, you can create another campaign this year that's called Live PC, Give PC 2019. And that's why they're, it's separated. Um, in that case, for those of you that are creating a new fundraising page, I would recommend creating a visitor redirect on your old fundraising page. That's something that's new that we also added to the platform. If you head over to your fundraising page on the left-hand side dashboard, you can select settings, and then type in the URN of your new fundraising page in the visitor redirect area. So anyone who has access to your 2018 campaign page will be redirected to your 2019 one. Again, there's no wrong or right answer about utilizing a fundraising page or utilizing your organization fundraising page, um, whatever suits you or works for you. So as I mentioned, this webinar will be available on the toolkit with slides. If you have any other questions um, about something technical or related to some of the strategies we spoke about, please feel free to reach out to support at mightycause.com. We're more than happy to help out in whatever capacity um, we can. 
and also make sure that you register for the next webinar that will go into more detail about some of the campaign strategies we talked about. All right, I hope this was short and sweet for everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.